updated video emerged showing televangelist Benny Hinn, revealing that First Lady Rachel Ruto made a trip to the U.S. with the sole purpose of asking him to come to Kenya for a government-sponsored crusade. And the revelation coming at a time when the control of budget called out on wastage of public resources. Mike Kagungo with the details. In September last year, President William Ruto made the tough decision to cut this year's 3.7 trillion shillings budget by 290 billion shillings amid an economic slowdown, even as runaway inflation continues to erode earnings. The president also suggested that government officials reduce the use of government funds as one way to achieve his plan, including reduction of diplomatic travels. Where was that, Nuri? Indonesia somewhere. Barely a year later, televangelist Benny Hinn from United States of America revealed that First Lady Rachel Ruto traveled together with a delegation to the U.S. primarily to ask Hinn to organize a national crusade funded and backed by the government. The First Lady of Kenya flew from Nairobi with her team, with her team, just for one reason to ask me to come back to Nairobi for a nationwide, nation-government-sponsored crusade. Now, we haven't had that in a long time where the uh, first lady of a nation comes and says, we want to hold a crusade sponsored and supported by the government. The revelations has sparked mixed reactions both on and offline with many questioning the seeming misuse of taxpayers' millions. In a quick scan online, the travel could have cost millions of shillings based on the average cost of air tickets and hotels around Orlando that could have hosted the delegation. A random search online for the cheapest hotel reservations in Orlando averages at about 8,500 shillings per night. If the first lady had traveled with a crew of approximately 10 others, they ostensibly spent approximately 90,000 shillings per night, totaling 280,000 shillings for two days. On air tickets, the lowest price advertised for a round trip flight between Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and Orlando International Airport is 134,439 shillings for a direct flight. But prices and availability are subject to change depending on when the flight was booked. Now, if the first lady was accompanied by a crew of 10 aides, the total amount of travel cost would be 134,439 shillings multiplied by 10 to give 1,344,000. 390 shillings. The prices will then double to 2 million 688,780 shillings for a return ticket. Now, depending with the location, the government of Kenya will have spent the same 2.8 million shillings to drill three boreholes for three different primary schools, at least four classrooms for the rate of 800,000 shillings, or provide the much-needed bursaries for struggling learners. There have been differing reactions after the travel since some Kenyans disagree with the use of public funds for religious purposes, despite the fact that Article 8 of the Constitution states that there shall be no state religion. This coming at a time when Salaries and Remunerations Commission and the controller of budget have raised an alarm over wastage in government with salaries and allowances taking up a sizable chunk, leaving little for development. Our efforts to get a reply from the office of the First Lady were deemed futile after top officials declined our request for comment. Let's continue praying for the Mike Kagwongo, TV 47, Nairobi. <laughs> Well, in the whole spirit of being honest, let's continue. Tonight, the Zimio